Hi right, guys. <clears throat> well, right now at 8 a.m., it is a spectacularly gorgeous, over-the-top beautiful day. Here in America, baby. Here on, uh, it is a Thursday. It is August 1st, 2024. We have made it through another month. And I am at my one-half the waypoint through my... Uh, my New York iteration of my snowbird peripatetic lifestyle here uh, in the good old U.S. of A. Halfway through my summer in New York, baby. And not sure which channel I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put this. Uh, don't know whether you call it a rant or not, but over there on that, uh, which might be that other channel, depending on what decision I make, I have this fellow from England. Sounds like a very nice guy. I think his name is Harvey. So Harvey uh, has asked me, of, of all people, out, out of 330 million Americans, uh, Harvey has mentioned to me, he, he lives in England, apparently he's never been here, and wants to come over here. I'm not sure if he's talking in a week, a month, a year, how long he's talking about visiting, but he wants to, I guess, discover the real America, the real United States. <coughs> And somehow he thinks I would be the uh, a, a, a good tour guide to show him the real United States. So I'm a, I, I, I'm a little unclear on his question. That, that can mean two things. There's the is he, is he talking just about the physical landscapes? here in the United States, is that the real America that he's looking for? Or is he looking for the real United States in terms of, you know, the way people are, are, are living their lives and going about their daily business? You know, just the real American. Uh, he does want to avoid tourist traps. So, <clears throat> now, 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 of course, Harvey, uh, <laughs> just picking out a random American and asking them to show you the real America, you got to understand that the United States, I'm, a, I'm assuming, it is, uh, I'm embarrassed that I don't know this, I think think that the, and not even including Alaska, well, Alaska and Hawaii, I mean, just the continental 48 states, I'm thinking, is quite a bit bigger than all of Europe, uh, than the entire continent of Europe, although I guess Europe, Europe's not a continent, you know what I'm about, you know what I'm talking about, I think I remember reading that the country of England is about the size of the state of Louisiana. Uh, when, I, when I read that, I was like, like, what? That England is the size of the state of Louisiana? I'm not sure about that, but uh, <laughs> uh, people have spent their entire lifetimes uh, trying to find the real America. People born here, I, I mean, there's probably hundreds of thousands of travel books written on here. Uh, it, it, it would be like you're at a party and, and some uh, American walks up to you and, and, and not says, I, I, I want you to show me the real England, but I want you to show me the real Europe. And, and, and I'm talking about from Norway to Italy. Uh, 
it, it's it, it, it's you, you, you've got to rein it in. I mean, if you're talking about the physical landscapes, uh, I would just say if you're coming over here and you have a short time, and it's an, amazing how many Americans have never done this, the number one thing you need to put on your bucket list is the redwoods in Northern California. Uh, if, if I had to... If, if somebody from England is saying, I have one week to spend in your country, what should I see? Uh, you should see the redwoods of Northern California. They're like no other, they're, 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 there's nothing like them on the entire planet. I would highly advise you going to see the redwoods oh, probably the month of May before the wildfire season kicks in. And uh, e even though I am living in New York, it's, it's the West Coast is, uh, is, is still my pick. What I would do, what I would recommend is uh, basically just starting in L.A. And, and driving up the West Coast to Seattle, taking, uh, I don't know if highway, you know, you need to get out there and drive 101 and Highway 1 while you still can before they go in the ocean. So the, the West Coast, I uh, would rent a car in L.A. and uh, go from L.A. well all the way... <clears throat> actually to Vancouver, uh, British Columbia, which is, you know, a few miles in, into Canada, would be my number one recommendation, uh, it, depending on how much time you have. And then uh, people will laugh when I when they hear me say this, but the, the other place is on the opposite end of the country is the state of Florida. Florida, even to this day, in my opinion, after California, is the most beautiful state uh, of, you know, of the 48 states. Flo there, there's nowhere else uh, in, in this country uh, that has what Florida has, but good Lord, avoiding the the tourist traps in Florida, you, you, you just have to meet up with somebody like me uh, who can get you off the beaten path. You can still get off the beaten path in Florida, and it's absolutely beautiful uh but but to sit here and 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 just <laughs> you know i mean where would you start now you're certainly welcome to start right here at bugs in a jar farm i mean uh upstate new york is is still beautiful uh vermont well i think vermont didn't they have their second uh, one in a thousand year flood in two weeks a couple of days ago. So if you want to get up to New England, uh, particularly Vermont, you need to do that uh, before it washes away. And same with the west coast of, of California and with the whole state of Florida. Uh, I mean, they are disappearing quick, but you've got a few years. If, you, if you're if you aiming for uh, this part of the country, upstate in New York and New England, you want to aim your trip uh, in the first half of October because of the leaves for the fall leaf show. But people tend to aim that too late. Uh, the the leaf show, well, the very thought of the word normal has gone out the window. Um, 
but I still think it's safe to say, um, and I, since I don't know how long you have and your date's available, I would make, I would come up here from uh, late September through mid-October if you're coming to this neck of the woods. Uh, but the, the, the main thing with, with uh, I, I would maybe recommend that book Blue Highways by William Least Heat Moon. Uh, the, the term blue highways, what he's talking about is on, they used to have these things, they're hard to find now, called paper maps, that, that they used to actually have these things called maps, and they were on the, these big pieces of paper, and they showed, I, I, I know that you guys, uh, anyone under the age of 40 has no idea what I'm talking about, with a road map and uh, and the blue highways were the little back roads so if you do come over here uh, you want to stay off of the freeways do not drive on the do not drive on any freeways or even the red big highways aim for the blue highways for the back roads and uh that 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 that's really my advice uh, i i i mean with that but but i don't know if that's what he's asking and and what uh, the the real U.S. and my my advice to uh, to Harvey if he wants to uh, take a trip to the real U.S. I told him what he needs to do is book a flight into Topeka, Kansas, land in Kansas, get into a cab, and tell the cabbie to take him to the closest Walmart to the Topeka. Kansas airport and he would get a slice of the real America. Uh, I, I told him absolutely do not come to Bugs in a Jar Farm uh, if he wants to discover the real America that I have dedicated now the last five summers of my life to creating this little pocket uh, to get away from the real America. Uh, I, I, I mean, I, I don't know why anybody would have any interest in the real America, which is the Topeka, Kansas Walmart. Uh, this Ira... I remember being at this Walmart, and it was in Utah, uh, at a Walmart in Utah, and a tour bus pulled up, and this, this like 30 Chinese people with cameras poured off the bus and flooded into this Walmart, talking all excitedly. And they were taking videos and photos all over the Walmart, uh, and, uh, and 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 I had to go talk to the bus driver, and I, I, I said, "Dude, what the hell are you bringing these people to a Walmart for?" Uh, you know, in Utah, beautiful places in Utah. He goes, "This is what they want to see." That this is what he uh, goes. He goes. You wouldn't believe uh, that this is what these uh, people from China, uh, where they come over here and they charter buses, and uh, sure, I you know I show them some pretty scenery, and what they want to do is go to a fucking Walmart. This is no joke. I'm not making this up. 
the last time I uh, I I had someone from England wanting to see the real America was it's about how many years ago? It, maybe it was 2017, somewhere around there. This, this real nice young man was hitchhiking, and uh, I picked him up, and uh, we started out in California, so he struck pay dirt with me, and uh, so we actually spent several uh, days together traveling, and I was heading back to Austin, Texas, so he had never been to Texas, and uh, so he wanted to see some real cowboys, and we, we, we come in from El Paso, Texas, on I-10, and I remember, I, 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 can, I, I can remember down to the mile, it was 217 miles, that 217 miles, what is that, around 350 kilometers, I think, uh, before we saw our first cow in the state of Texas, and that's because of all of these uh, CAFOs. What are CAFOs? Captive Animal Feedlot Operations or something, uh, where you can drive 217 miles in the state of Texas without seeing a cow. Uh, <laughs> because they're all crammed into these giant feedlots, these industrial agricultural feedlots. <coughs> yes, asking uh, asking Sam Mitchell. Uh, to be your your tour guide to the real America, uh, the, the the problem with 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 wanting a <laughs> with wanting a tour of the real America is you need to find a real American to uh, give you the tour. I'm not sure how long uh, Harvey has. Uh, has known me, uh, and as I say, he met that uh, fictional character on that other channel, uh, and, and, and I'm not even sure he's aware of Sam Mitchell at Collapse Chronicles, so Harvey, uh, if you're listening to this, you probably want to check out my interview on Soft White Underbelly. Uh, just look for Sam Doomsday Theorist that, uh, uh, I am, uh, I, I am not a good representation of a real American, uh, my, I mean, I was born and raised, uh, in the United States and I've lived in, uh, all over the U.S., and I probably can make a, a a pretty good tour guide on one way. But but of course, uh, what Harvey might not understand is my entire worldview. Everything I stand for is diametrically opposed to ninety nine percent of real Americans. Uh, I, I am the absolute antithesis of a real American. I am embarrassed to be an American. Uh, what was this society of, uh, of lonely, isolated, angry, atom atomized, malcontents is what we are. We have, uh, it's just, if you want to see the real America, you need to go to a MAGA Trump rally. Uh, I would highly uh, recommend
I would highly recommend if you want to uh, experience a slice of real America that you go to a, uh, a Donald Trump rally and uh, you will see uh, you, you will see a slice of the real America. It's uh, then of course, um, I guess on the flip side, you could go to a Kamala rally. It's uh, it just it just we have become there there there. There's nothing united about us. We are the untied states of America. We have just become. 330 million bugs in a jar. That's what we are. <clears throat> we are bugs in a jar being shaken up by some sadistic 12-year-old boy uh, getting us fighting with each other <clears throat> over stupid shit that does not make <coughs> any difference to any one of us on an individual level, uh, we are being played like fish. We are being shaken up like bugs in a jar being shaken by a sadistic 12-year-old boy who's going to grow up to be either a uh, serial killer or a politician. Uh, just fighting uh, among ourselves, uh, uh, d d d d just getting into all of these ridiculous, uh, quote, ideological battles, uh, getting on our little cheering on our team. Uh, it, it, it's, uh, it, it's, it's, it's absolutely disgusting what we have turned into. Uh, we're, we're a bunch of, uh, j j j we're just a bunch of angry mobs. Uh, so, if you come to Bugs in a Jar, uh, and I hope you do, Harvey, I would love to, uh, ha have you, uh, come here to Bugs in a Jar and, uh, I, I I could I I could fill you in on the real America, uh, but this is not the real America. Bugs in a jar is uh, the real America is is bugs in a jar. Uh, but I can take you to a Walmart, and you, and you need to go to a Wegmans supermarket. Uh, <laughs> a Wegmans supermarket, uh, that would give you a... Uh, it, it's the Wegmans supermarket is, is three blocks from the Walmart here in Ithaca, New York. And uh, that, will, that, that will give you an idea of the real America... Anyway, the real America What does uh <laughs> Oh boy, maybe I need to uh hit the road for a tour of the real America for for 15 years I have been uh documenting and chronicling the uh, the the collapse of the former real America 15 years of uh, of video chronicling uh, w watching this country just to, you know just to completely devolve and crumble just just into a festering shithole country as i say it 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 saddens me it disgusts me 
I, I, am, I am completely embarrassed to be an American. Uh, we deserve to be the laughing stock that we are to the rest of the planet. But with all of that said, uh, by and large, with, with all of that said, Harvey, by and large, the average person, the average American, it, 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 as long as you're not talking uh, politics or religion, <clears throat> the average American that you're going to meet uh, are, are still nice folks. And this is what... Uh, it, it, it is is so disturbing on one level, Harvey. Is just when, when you meet your quote average American, whatever the hell that term means, in, in a country of three hundred and thirty million people. Generally speaking, the vast vast majority. Uh, of, of people that you meet in this country, and I'm thinking is the same most places in the world, uh, are, are really nice folks, at, at least when you first meet them. Uh, they will invite you into their homes, uh, they will show you around, they will uh, just nicest folks in the world. Uh, that that you will meet uh, here, it, it, as long as you keep it surface, and that you don't try, you, you know, to forge long-standing, uh, trusting friendships. The whole idea of friendship uh, has gone down the toilet. And I blame the internet more than anything for this. That uh, looking for the real America in the post-internet age, the the internet has completely divided and destroyed uh, any semblance of social fabric that uh, this country used to be able to claim their their the 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 social fabric uh, has been just completely moth eaten there is nothing left of uh, of anything the very term united states is uh is, is hilarious uh, we're teetering on the edge of civil war. Uh, so my advice is to come over here <clears throat> and uh, you can start right here at Bugs in a Jar Farm and uh, j just meet all these very nice folks, uh, generally speaking, and just don't try to make any lasting uh, acquaintances with anybody you meet and you could probably come over here and spend a month and go back to England and uh, with with very pleasant you know very pleasant uh, opinions uh, of the real United States is my guess <clears throat> and I could probably go over to Europe and as long as I guess uh, I don't go to Spain, is that where they're having all of those anti-tourist protests? Which I, I, I am 100% in support of those anti-tourist protests in Spain, by the way, 100%. So I guess I would stay out of Spain. But generally speaking, I'm thinking I could go to Europe and come back with the same report that that that, that most people j just want to be nice folks it's just too bad that all of us uh nice folks in this country and on this planet are uh, nothing more than bugs in a jar uh being manipulated uh by all, all of this bullshit propaganda while uh, the billionaires uh, 
it j just uh, make more and more and more and more money uh, off of, you know, it's called divide and conquer. And the, uh, and it's, as George Carlin said, it's one big club and you ain't in it. But uh, anyway, Harvey, I'm not sure that answered your question, but uh, that's the best I can do for now. But come see me at Bugs in a Jar Farm and we can continue this discussion. But uh, we're having a heat advisory today. Uh, I don't guess we're having a smoke advisory. I guess we're heading back up into 90 degrees probably with a heat index of close to 100 today. So I need to get out and stain a screen porch before dying of heat stroke in the real U.S. on August 1st. Get out there and enjoy the real United States while you still can before we erupt into civil war on November 5th. Bye, guys.